sweet friends. I have missed you. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for a while. I got sick. My voice is still a little bit mousy and I'm sorry about that as well. I'm feeling 90% better, but my voice hasn't exactly caught up yet. So I'll minimize talking for this video. However, I am home alone for the weekend and feeling quite lonely and we're in the heart of winter and it is so chilly outside. That paired with just getting better, I want to take it really, really easy this weekend. And what better way to do that than to dive into a good book, eat heartwarming food, drink copious amounts of tea, and hopefully, maybe, if the weather allows, get some fresh air, if this sounds good to you. Well, go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea Grab your coziest of comfy blankets and a good book because I would like to officially, unofficially, in video form, invite you to a bookish sleepover. In other words, to quell my loneliness and to indulge in some coziness, I thought it would be fun to spend the night reading a good book with you guys and who knows what else. Just taking it easy, making the most, of a chilly winter night and morning. So I have indulged in so much cozy reading since I was sick. I blew through three romantic comedies. I finished The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan, uh, Vanessa Yu's Magical Paris Tea Shop by Razelle Lim, and then also I listened to the audiobook The People We Are on Vacation. It's one of Emily Henry's rom-coms, so Ah, I really enjoyed the heartwarmingness of that genre while I was sick and now I'm craving action and adventure and because I no longer have a numerical reading goal for this year I have decided to allow myself to read long books. Normally I would avoid really really long books for fear of not reaching my numerical goal but this year it's quality over quantity plus books I own, not new books. And with that in mind, I have decided to continue reading The Lord of the Rings. So I have the pleasure of reading the, these books for the very first time. I read book number one about two years ago, and tonight I'd like to begin book number two. And then once I finish book number two, I'm going to treat myself to the movie. That won't happen tonight but hopefully sometime next month. So as I said before, go ahead and pick yourself out a cozy book for the night and tomorrow morning because it's a sleepover. We're gonna go tonight into tomorrow morning. And right now I am quite hungry and it is quite cold, so I'm craving a hot soup. And you know something that I'd like to do more of in my life is reading in restaurants or reading in cafes. I do it every so often but this year, I'd like to take more time to read out in public, <laughs> to just go to new spaces and read. So how about we go out to dinner and begin our book?
I am back home. Dinner was absolutely delicious. Reading was slow going. Pho is so, so messy. It's incredibly difficult to eat and read at the same time. So I'm only like two chapters in into the two towers. So I'm gonna go ahead and change and get cozy, make another cup of tea and read in bed. I'm all cozy. And now I'm going to wash my face and I wanted to show you guys. I've been using this face wash for three months and I really, really like it. It's Essence Skincare. They're located in Portland. It's a small business and they have absolutely amazing ingredients. Feel free to pause and have a look. Just for fun, I'd also like to do a face mask. How does tea and poetry sound?
<sighs> I simply cannot say it enough. Mary Oliver's poetry is medicine for my soul. It is simply the very best way to start any day, sitting down, curling up with her poetry. Mm. <sighs> always, 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 it reminds me that the world and my life is absolutely wonderful. She inspires me to look at my reality with love, with joy, with awe, with awe, that's the word. <sighs> Last night felt like an indie movie. This morning feels quite hooga. <laughs> Just very, very cozy winter cottagey and I'm feeling immensely grateful. And the only thing that I think can make this morning better is pancakes. What do you say? Let's make some fluffy vegan pancakes, enjoy a bit more reading, and see where the rest of the day takes us. And I knew from the first time I met you I knew that the heart is never light Felt like the sun can give a sigh And I fell from and The first time I met you, baby Like a night sky in July about time for a reading update. I am thoroughly enjoying The Two Towers. I do have to admit that it was an adjustment to get into because I hadn't read the first book in, or it's been nearly three years since I read The Fellowship of the Ring and um, I just spent my past couple of weeks binge reading romantic comedies, I had to adjust to the writing and it took a while to jog my memory to remember names and places and other story details, but once I was in, I was in. I also said that I was craving like an action-packed novel and though parts of this will be action-packed, so far it's been rather slow. However, the writing is delicious. Ooh, it's so, so good. It's just so descriptive. And anytime I'm reading The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or anything by Tolkien, I just crave adventure. It makes me want to run outside and be a hobbit. So how about for the last thing on our bookish sleepover, we go for a hobbit walk through the forest. I'm feeling inspired and I want an adventure. So. Let's go soak up some of the sunlight and enjoy some fresh air 
and pretend to be hobbits, if you will. stream, the green of the moss, the wisdom of the tree. Am I in a Tolkien novel? No, this is my life. This is real life. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. What a magical forest. What an incredible walk. I think Monsieur Roux enjoyed himself the most out of all of us. He's sitting right beside me. Oh, it makes me so happy to see him frolic freely through the forest, living his best life. You are the king of the forest, Monsieur Roux. Yeah, I have lived here for five years and I am still just as in awe of the forests as I was since the very beginning, since day one. <laughs> I had never seen anything like these forests and I'm so happy that they're just as magical to me even though they're now familiar. So we have reached the end of our bookish sleepover. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I felt so nervous at the start of this video, just not having filmed for weeks and not feeling 100% my best. I fell off my game, you know? <laughs> I had to get comfortable filming again and I just really appreciate you sticking with me and taking the time to watch these videos, to watch these days in my life and honestly to help me feel much less alone, even when I am alone. I have Monsieur Roux. <laughs> Landon will be home soon, but before filming this video, I was thinking about its purpose, like why I wanted to film this video. And I made this video because I wanted to provide comfort, both for you and for me, during a day or night or time that can feel quite lonely. I wanted this video to feel cozy and I wanted it to help make everyday life feel magical because 
you do not have to be extraordinary to live an extraordinary life. And recently, I've been feeling old. I say that with a smile because I don't mean like an old woman. However, I am in my late 20s and there are just so many life experiences that I thought I would have by now that I haven't had. And when I'm looking at Pinterest or when I still had Instagram, when I would look at Instagram or even YouTube, just social media in general, I see these beautiful images of people living just the most alive life, like dancing or walking down beautiful streets in beautiful clothes, picnicking, having dinner parties with friends, swimming in the ocean, being artsy in a studio, and so on and so forth. And the pictures are always beautiful. My entire life I've been waiting to feel like those people in those pictures in order to allow myself to be those people in those pictures, especially really, really beautiful women in beautiful dresses. I always thought that I would reach a certain point in my life where I would feel like I could wear that beautiful dress and pose that way without smiling, you know, having a serious face. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but up to this point, I have viewed this beauty, this human beauty on social media and thought, not yet, or I don't feel that way yet, or that's not me yet. I'm not cool enough yet. I'm not confident enough yet, so on and so forth. And I'm in my late 20s. I know I'm not super old or anything like that, but I finally realized recently that I'm never gonna feel cool enough. There is no magical moment where you suddenly feel confident enough to wear the dresses in the pictures or go do those things. I know this is all very vague, but it's all perspective on life. Like now is the time. Do not wait to do the things you want to do. And if you see these beautiful pictures and want your life to feel that way, that is a choice you choose to make it feel a certain way. So, last night felt like an indie movie for me, and this morning felt like a cozy cottagecore morning, and that forest walk felt like a magical Lord of the Rings forest walk. And that's my life, and I could have taken any snapshot of any of these moments and posted it on Pinterest or Instagram or whatever, YouTube, <laughs> and people would probably look at those and feel the way that I had been feeling. I'm just so glad that I've realized that now is the time. Don't wait to wear the dress, have the dinner parties, make the art, travel if you can or want to, fall in love with your life. I'm falling in love with my life again, and thank you so very much for being a part of it all. See you very soon.